In communities across America, some people have been ordered to stay home and keep shelter where they are most safe from the coronavirus. We also have people in our community who still wake up every morning and go to work in a world where COVID-19 is a reality. And for most of these essential workers, is a much different reality to adjust. As an essential worker, I am a ambulance dispatcher, so I dispatch ambulance to emergencies. I was able to have a chat with an essential worker named Ruth, whose contribution as an essential worker gets people the medical help they need as a dispatcher. But with most American social distancing, the need for immediate medical assistance hasn't exactly increased. Once the pandemic actually set in, the calls initially stopped almost completely. So our hours were cut because people were staying home and um, instead of dispatching for emergencies, we started just dispatching hospice patients to hospitals and back to hospice just so they can continuously get tested. Many workplaces for essential workers have been under new protocols that make sure every worker is safe each day coming. To take our temperature as soon as we walk in, we have to take a survey and tell if we have any symptoms or anything like that. And if we do, if we have any type of symptoms such as the coughing or a fever, they immediately send us home. And for Ruth, she has more essential work waiting for her at home as the mother of a six-year-old as well as pursuing her own educational goals. My schedule is very different now because I do have a daughter that's in kindergarten. When I'm not at work, I'm either working on my on my homework or working on homework with my daughter or activities for my daughter to be able to get her credit for her schoolwork. With the lockdown extended, kids like Ruth's own just want to return to the playground. I miss about school to play outside. I'm Meshach Hazard reporting for Cougar News.